Hey, so this would be the third video of my series or uh, WhatsApp where I just where I explore some interesting topics or at least they are interesting to me. Uh, for this one, I recently learned about something called WebRTC. It's a protocol that supports peer-to-peer -peer connection and you can send voice, uh, video and generic data between these two peers in real time. So I had this idea to create uh, like uh, a website where someone can register themselves as a host. Someone else as a peer can connect to them in real time and the host will send back to the peer a code question, a code problem. The peer now needs to solve this code problem and like when they solve it, uh, a notification of success or failure will be sent back to the host. Um, like, uh, yeah, I just have this idea and this is a proof of concept that this is doable without any kind of backend and you can run the code uh, in JavaScript and in Python on the browser without like any signed uh, of, of backend. So yeah, I'm just going to show you a demo of that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to write any code. It's just a simple demo. So, uh, so again, this is this does not have any server. Only like if you think about it, the static server um, that actually GitHub pages gives me. But yeah, this is without any server. So first thing, you need to open the inspect. If you are going to use this tool, like just to demo something, or if you if you're just interested, you definitely need to open this. So first thing, if you click here. Uh, you'll be uh, you'll be like just as a host and the website will actually tell you that you are a host and after some like a couple of seconds you will see this uh, json generated you need to copy it and you need to send it to the person that wants to connect with you okay so this is an offer it's called an offer and i know it's not practical to send json to other people so i'm just relying that the people like that gonna use this tool is actually are technically able to do that okay so realistically if you want to add this to your website you will have or you can do it do it without a web rtc but if you want to do it like that you will have a server that actually does all of that for you but here i'm relying on the users to do that and they can connect front end to front end and that's it yeah so you will come here and paste that offer click here you will see an answer being generated and this is actually said there it's actually like typed here. It's an answer. So this answer needs to send back to the server. You can send it like through Slack, through anything, any communication like software you have. So as soon as you hit this, after you added the answer here, you will see this connect, which means you are both connected in real time. Or you can send data, you are connected and you can send that in real time. So this actually close everything. I don't need this console in the host. And in the host, you have now two options. First one is to come here to add a code question. So this is the title. I'm going to add test. And this is the question text. It's a markdown text editor. It's, it's going to re-render in real time, as you can see. And we have for like text highlighting in JavaScript and Python. Let me remove myself like uh, here. I don't think I am needed, but yeah. So anyway, we have this JavaScript code highlighting and Python, and this Python code will actually run on the uh, on the front end. You can use the collections counter default dict. Uh, you can use alert. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you a demo of that. You can run Python on the front end, and here is to add inputs and output as like in each test case. This is the same idea that happens in websites like lead code or whatever. And if you wanna pass multiple arguments, just separate them with at. If you want to pass uh, an array, just add it like this. This will be an array. And just for the sake of simplicity, I'm not supporting linked lists, queues, graphs, but you can do it. So if you are interested, you can you can definitely expand this. It's really easy. Or it's not, it's relatively easy. Uh, another thing is all the functions that the peer needs to write, they should have those, they should be named sol because uh, on the peer, I'm going to try to like, uh, correct or mark this question, mark the code they, that they wrote as a correct or false, right? So it should be called uh, sol, and I'm going to execute it in all the test cases that the host actually entered. And if all the outputs matched, hey, this question is correct. Or the code you wrote for that question is correct, else it's false. Um, yeah. So you can actually save it. It will tell you, hey, it's got created. Uh, that's actually, sorry. Let me show you. My bad. It's really hard to focus on recording and all of that. 
but yeah when you click save you'll see this notification of created but as you can see it's a bug we have two of them yeah it's just a, a proof of concept so click x now to send still the peer have nothing uh, now to send it click on this icon you will see all of the questions that you actually created for this video uh, it's actually like I actually tried to make the design here a little bit pretty I know it's very ugly but uh, this used to be a card but yeah whatever so I'm gonna this is like this to delete they will be deleted uh, it's actually just soft delete uh, yeah when you refresh your page the same questions will be here they are saved on the front end but if you click this button, this will now this question will be sent to the other peer in real time. So I'm gonna click it. I clicked it. Now it's actually here. So uh, I know, like you can expand this and collapse it. And yeah, so I'm gonna solve it with Python. So I'm gonna return one. I know that I should return one. So let me show you actually what will happen on the on the host when I click run code. So I'm gonna click run code. So all the tests. All test cases passed, which means the peer solved the questions correctly. I mean, since WebRTC supports video, voice, you can add all of that functionality here. Even on each keystroke, you can sync with the bo like both two text editor to have the same exact code. You can do that. Uh, everything like you can do basically anything or almost anything you want. So, so yeah, so yeah, I, I solved the question correctly. If I did not solve it correctly, I will end up like the actual host will see this some test did not pass um, so yeah it's just a proof of concept but as you can see you can use python and you can use javascript i'm not gonna demo that it's the same thing define a function called sort a row function uh, stored in a variable just with the function uh, expression or keyword it does not matter it should be named sol and it should return something to be actually like so the the code will actually try to like run it correctly and to find out if you solve the question or not but in python uh you can do alert so each time that we run the function this will alert will execute as you can see and that's again in python uh you can do prints and anything you print will actually be here so let's actually print a list as well and a string and as you can see here they are um yeah so uh, like not sure if this is useful or not maybe it's not uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts maybe it's like some of you can point me out to like something really good or yeah I'm not sure I'm just sharing something that I find interesting uh, another thing like I'm gonna hit refresh to start all over again uh, you, you can here run Python without anything like without actually having a question loaded here uh, as you can see if you are if you are just interested to see this I'm using uh python behind the scene um i think like this yeah python so this is actually like a parser written in javascript for python it will run job it will run python on the front end and there is a lot of interesting topics um, and yeah yeah so i thought this i see i had like i saw this one this tool uh, this package and I saw with RTC and I know about code mirror which is one of my favorite text editors or on online on the browser uh, code editors and I thought I'm gonna do this and uh, like share it on my youtube channels I think uh, on my youtube channel I think it's very interesting um, so yeah here is the code by the way I will put a link in the description for it this will be the third episode uh, I didn't write any code just sharing something interesting and uh, the name Sabriz does not have any meaning I just got it like from a random name generator website um, so yeah um, I like I'm curious to hear your suggestions or to or your ideas about this uh, it could be most likely it's completely useful uh, useless <laughs> uh, most likely it's completely useless yeah uh, but yeah anyway bye